Yep, another CE64 Maxi video. Now today I'm going to cover tape images. Now you can run cartridge images, you can run disk images. You can also run tape images too, and there's a little bit of difference in the behavior between a T64 image and a TAP image. So I just want to go over how it does do both of them, but it does them differently. And and uh, you can expect different things from how it how it does it. So let's uh, let's take a quick look at that. All right. So I've got a folder that I've made with two different images in it. Now, if you look at the side here, you'll notice the icons are just slightly different. One is actually the bottom one. It says it's in the shape of a cassette tape, and the top one, the icon almost looks like a like a piece of paper with writing on it. So um, the top one is a T64 image, and that bottom one you see there, that's a TAP image. Uh, both are a different type of, of tape image. So uh, going down to the bottom, you can see uh, your three different types of media that you could load here. If you don't mount a disk image, it'll, it'll put a default one in there. Uh, that's just created by the computer itself. You can you could take that off if you don't want it to have a disk image at all And we could do that by hitting uh, eject over here. So we'll take that off and I wanted to leave this one up for a second so you can see that the file extension see where it says tape or TAP so Let's actually start with uh, the the t64 image on the top here now normally you would hit on your controller that came with the computer, you would select your uh, tape image and you hit this, hit this button and you'll hear that sound. Maybe you can hear it. Uh, it's, it's not taking it. And you'll also notice it didn't put anything uh, in the, the images mount section. Let's go back down to this one here, the TAP image, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit the button get a different sound and you'll also notice it mounted it mounted the image there in the cassette section now where this is different let me let me go ahead and eject that one so now we've got nothing in here uh, where it's different you need to go up to your T64 image and rather than than mounting it and then uh, exiting out and then hitting load and all that you would hit this option here which is the launch option and that is the uh, those those correspond with the buttons on your your controller so we'll hit that one that's launch and you'll see it kicked it off and it's it's loading now I want to point out look how fast that came up and uh, you might see why in a second hold on let's let's back out I'm gonna hit the menu button I'm gonna go back to media and if you look, it put it in the cartridge slot. It didn't put it in the cassette slot, which is interesting. But I think that's a result, or, or the, the loading speed is a result of that, I, I believe, anyway. Because this, this came up really quick. So I'm going to get past the crack screen there. And look how quick that, that game came up. So I think you play this one with a keyboard. Let's try it. So F7 to launch a ball and you got your yeah well oh, we can tell I'm not good at this try again okay enough of that let me go back to the main menu and uh, I'm gonna reboot the computer so we get a fresh start here Going back to the media access, and let's do this uh, a little differently. So we're going to eject that T64 image, and you can see the extension right there. We're going to eject that where it's not going to come up. Because funny enough, if you mount this one, and that one was previously used, you'll actually have a cartridge and a cassette mounted at the same time. Cartridge is going to take priority over the cassette. So let's go ahead and dismount that, and we'll mount this one. Now it's it's there, so I'm going to back out of the the menu here, and I'm going to load it just like I would a tape. So I'm going to type load, 
And unlike a, uh, a disk drive, you don't have to put a comma eight or any device number behind it. Just load and it makes the assumption that it's a tape. So it's saying press play on tape and you don't get this behavior on the T64 images. So I'm gonna go back into the menu. And I'm gonna highlight the play there. So we're gonna kick that off. And you can actually see up in the, in the top right another thing that it doesn't do on the T64 images. It's actually showing you that the tape is moving. And unfortunately, this is the exact same speed that a C2N cassette deck would be running at. So if you want authenticity, well, this is the image for you because it will actually take forever to load up. So oh, it found, found the game. That comes up for a second, then it actually continues on playing it. Playing the tape, I should say. And I'm going to skip through parts of this because it would it's going to bore you to death. Uh, well, actually, before I do that, let me type run. And it's continue on loading here. Let me go into here for a second. Now look at this number. It's, it's, it, it shows the tape counter. So just like the C2 uh, and other tape decks had a, a counter so you could see where you were on the tape, this one does too. And you can you can go back, fast forward. If you've got like a tape image with 10 different things on it, which you can do, you could skip to a different uh, section of the tape and, and start it from there. So just thought that was worth a mention. I'll hit the back and it's continuing to load. We'll let this go for a minute and see how long it takes to come up. And after much time, it is finally loaded. So if you're looking for the authentic experience, and you want to show how, show somebody how long it took to load a game back in the day when you only had a cassette cassette drive. Hey, this is the format for you, the TAP format. So I just want to make this quick video and show some of the behaviors of these different types of formats. And uh, the good thing is it does both. So no matter what you got there, it'll play either or. All right, until next time.